Hello, Clearwater Dolphins, and welcome back to a new episode of CNN. I'm your host, Kelly. And I'm your co-host, Mark. But today, we only have two things to say today. There will be Teacher Appreciation Week, starting May 6th through May 10th. Okay, but we need to tell you guys something. There will be CASP testing, and good luck to all. Back to you in the studio. Hello, Clear Dovins. My name is Daniel. My name is Valerie. And welcome back to What's Up With You. And today we are here with Mr. Salazar, who is our school counselor. Let's get on with questions. What do you like about working with children? Well, working with children is the reason why I got into school counseling. Because everybody has problems. Adults have problems. Kids have problems. Teenagers have problems. But at the same time, adults have a hard time dealing with problems. How, is, how, how do you think kids feel when they have problems and they have issues that, are, that could really bother and affect a grown-up and make them feel bad and horrible and make them feel terrible? So if, if, if parents and adults could feel that bad about certain things, it must make kids feel terrible and horrible. So my thing is, why not be able to help them out, make sure that they're feeling better, doing better, and being the best kids they could be because that's what we want for all our kids. Even if they're not my kids or they're not your kids or anybody else's kids, we want all our kids to be successful, happy, and, do, and be, do the, be the best kids they could possibly be. Second question, if you could, if you had, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, that's crazy because I, I really love superhero movies. I love all the superhero movies. I check them out. But one thing I always thought about that, um, I thought maybe being super smart. Because the thing is, if you're super smart, you can solve all the problems of all the kids, all the people in the world, do a, do a bunch of amazing things, come up with some great inventions to help the world and make it a better place. And that's why I'm a school counselor, to make the world a better place. Maybe not the whole world, but maybe leave the kids in, in my small school and make them make it the best it could possibly be. So that's what it would be. Um, being a, a, the smartest person in the world or knowing everything so that I could help people in the world be the best they can be. What is some of your best advice to give a student? Well, the best advice I give a student is the best advice I give to anybody. I say be true to yourself. Don't let anybody influence you or tell you that to be different than who you are. Be who you are and be proud of who you are. Because if you're not true to yourself, you're not being true to anybody else. Because the way I see it, if you don't, if you're trying to please everybody else and you're not trying to please yourself, you're just being fake. The thing is, the way to be the happiest you could possibly be and be the, be the best person you could be is just being true to yourself and being who you genuinely are. And when you're doing that, all your goodness, your kindness, and all the best qualities about you will come out and everybody else will see it. So I think that if you just be who you really are and don't let other people try to make you to be something that you're not, you'll be the best version of what you can be. Well, that's all for this video. My name is Autumn and I'm back with this week's weather. On Monday, it's going to be 63 degrees clouds and sun and cool. On Tuesday, it's going to be 70 degrees sun and some clouds cool. On Wednesday, it's going to be 72 degrees clouds and sun and cool. On Thursday, it's going to be 73 degrees considerable cloudness. And on Friday, it's going to be 75 degrees cloudy. Stay classy, Clearwater. Hello, Clear Dolphins. Welcome back to Poll Question. Thank you to the people who participated in last week's Poll Question. In first place was field trips, in second place was Olympics, and in third place was award assembly. This week's Poll Question is, what color looks best on you? Your options are number one, red, number two, orange, number three, yellow, number four, green, number five, blue, number six, purple, number seven, pink, number eight, black, number nine, white, number ten, gray. My name is Kelly. I'm Rebecca. And my name is Luis, and see you next week on Poll Question.
Hi, boys and girls. Hi, staff members. Mr. Vasquez, Mr. McCann, and I are really looking forward to our third annual Clearwater 2019 Olympics this year. Uh, the Olympics will be held on June 11th, and classes will be participating in research projects, learning about their particular country. Uh, we will have athletes from each class participating, and each classroom and class country will be also performing a cultural dance from their country. So we're looking forward to competition. We're looking forward to research and presentations and also performances in the month of June. Practices are going to start May 20th, so turn in those permission slips. Uh, fifth and sixth grades are going to practice on Monday afternoons. Uh, third and fourth grade are going to practice on Wednesday afternoons. And first and second grade are going to practice on Thursday afternoons. The week of our Olympics, uh, Monday, June 10th, you're going to do your classroom walkthroughs. We're gonna see all the different countries that every uh, class has to offer, and we're gonna to get to learn a little bit about their cultures. June 11th, we will have our Olympics. We'll, be compete we'll have our opening ceremony in the morning. We'll have our competition with our first and second graders in the, uh, right after that, uh, third, fourth, and then we'll finish with fifth, sixth. On Wednesday, we're gonna do our country dances. So we're gonna to get to see all the dances from all the different countries. On Thursday, those of you that got your uh, placed in the top three uh, for our Olympians, um, we are gonna get you your medals and we'll get to celebrate you in front of our classes and kind of close down the year and our Olympics week. So we're looking forward to it. Athletes, get pumped, get ready. And we look forward to all of our country presentations and dances coming up, so enjoy. Hi, Clearwater Dolphins. Welcome back to This Week in History. On This Week in History, on May 6, 1961, George Clooney was born. George Clooney was an American actor, director, producer, and screenwriter. On May 8, Robert Jonas was born. He was an American singer, songwriter, and guitarist. He died on August 16, 1938. On May 8, 1886, Coca-Cola was invented. Today, Coca-Cola is one of the world's most popular soft drinks and one of the most recognized trademarks. That's all for now, Clearwater Dolphins. Bye. Hey, Clearwater Dolphins, I'm Daniel. And I'm John. Welcome back to someone you should know about. This, this week, someone is... Conor McGregor. Conor Anthony McGregor is an Irish professional mixed martial arts fighter. He is the former UFC featherweight and lightweight champion. He has a wife and a kid. He was born on July 14, 1988. That's it for Knuckle Dolphins. See you next time. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. Welcome back to Truth or Lie. My name is Manny Velasquez. And my name is Jose Gonzalez. This week's staff member is Miss Nance. So is it A, Miss Nance earned several scholarships for her grades to, that paid for most colleges' education? Or is it B, she completed part of her edu college education in another country? Drum Jumbo, please. please. The truth is I earned several scholarships for my grades that paid for most of my college education. I worked really hard um, throughout all my schooling and uh, that paid off when I applied for college. I was able to um, get most of my college paid for because of my grades and my academics. So that's it. That's all for now. Good water, dolphins. dolphins. Bye. Hello Clearwater Dolphins, welcome back to Trivia Question. This week's question is how many presidents have there been in the U.S.? Is it A, 50, B, 55, C, 40, or D, 45? If you thought D45, you are correct. My name is Rebecca Martinez and see you next week on Trivia Question. Hello Clara Dolphins, welcome back to this week's cartoon. This week's cartoon is Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This cartoon is based on kids that have imaginary friends. Madame Foster made a foster home for kids and their imaginary friends to come alive. The main characters are Blue and Mac. That's all for Cartoon of the Week. My name is Hannah.
Hi, welcome to Famous Quote. This week's quote is by a famous cartoon creator named Stephen Hillenburg. He said, what can be better than serving up smiles? My name is Alison Landaverde. See you next week. Welcome back to Sports Report. Now let's get to it. The Rockets lost against the Warriors 115-109. to And the Bucks beat the Celtics 123-102. to And in baseball, the Angels won against the Blue Jays 6-3. to And Padres swept the Braves 11-2. That's it for this week. See ya. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. Welcome back to Artist of the Week. Today's Artist of the Week is George Braquet. George was a ma major 20th century French painter. He was also a printmaker and sculptor. He was born May 13, 1882 in Argentulli, France and died August 31st, 1963 in Paris, France. He was inspired by Pablo Picasso. Braquet and Picasso worked together painting and making collage from 1908 and 1914. Their paintings were often very similar and many people could not tell apart. My name is Rebecca Martinez and see you next week on Artists of the Week. CNN investigates, I want you to find out a question for me. Why is the sky blue? Hi, Clearwater Dolphin. Welcome back to State of the Week. This week's day is Mississippi. The capital of Mississippi is Jackson. Jackson, the capital of Mississippi, is named after General Andrew Jackson in honor of his victory of the battle of New Orleans in January of 1815. Blues music was born in the Mississippi Delta. My name is Caleb Schneck. And my name is Jasmine Lopez. Bye, go our dolphins. Hello, Colorado Dolphins. We are back with this week's Guess the Disney Character. We are going to give you some clues and you have to guess who we are talking about. First clue, she wears a beautiful blue dress and she is an ice cream. Second clue, she has long white hair and she has a sister who is her best friend. Did you get a clue yet? This week's Disney character is... Elsa. This week's Disney character is Elsa from Disney's Frozen. That's it for the guest the Disney character. Bye bye butterflies. Hello, Colorado Dolphins, and welcome back to World News. Today on World News are some new human fossils. These new human fossils were found underneath the Philippines. An unknown human species managed to overcome the current of the ocean and settle on the island around 50,000 or 67,000 years ago. Moving along, India got hit by its biggest cyclone in 20 years. It impacted an area that's home to millions of people with winds about 115 miles per hour, which is a which is a Category 3 hurricane. And lastly, NASA plans to send a helicopter to Mars in 2020. That's crazy. It's not an actual helicopter, it's a mini one. And they plan to send it on July 2020. That's it for this week, Clara Dolphins. They eat just about anything. These obnoxious mammals are found in forests, marshes, and cities. They are adapted to and do the dexterous from paws and long fingers to find their feast. Raccoons are generally thought as mischievous, somewhat ignorant, but however, in recent years, they have discovered that raccoons are actually very smart. See you next time on Animal of the Week. We're back, and we have an interesting fact. Did you know your blood travels 12,000 miles a day. That's all for now, Clearwater Dolphins.